Hello there. The day I'm just outside Dalmellington in East Ayrshire and I'm heading towards the Scottish Dark Skies Observatory, which is roughly in this area. Never been here before, so not 100% sure where it is, but I think it's up in that direction. So I'm going to be heading up there and I'm going to be doing a bit of filming today, comparing the zoom on the DJI Mini 2 at 1080, which is a four times zoom, with the zoom on the DJI Mini 2 at 4K, which is a two times zoom. I'm going to test the two of these and get a comparison so that you'll be able to see if it's feasible to use the 1080 for zoom in your own footage or if it's going to be just a, a bit too grainy. So that's something I'm, I'm interested in seeing. I've watched a few videos and the 1080 for zoom looks really good and it looks very usable. But as you should know by now on this channel, I don't really trust anything until I've tested it out myself. So I'm here to try that out today if I can find the observatory. Now also in this area is Loch Doon, which is one of the most beautiful parts of Scotland and it's in the lowlands of Scotland. So I'm going to be doing a little bit of filming, filming there and if you hang on to the end of the video, I'll do a flyover of part of Loch Doon and you, I think your breath will be taken away at the beauty of the place. It's unbelievable. So I'm going to hike on up there and see if I can find this observatory. Now, there is a which looks like a jeep track going up this part here and it's pretty steep so this could very well be going up to the observatory I checked it out on the, the map before I came out it looked pretty straightforward on the map but as per usual the 2D map is never quite as straightforward as the 3D Scottish terrain <laughs> and there are usually a couple of surprises <laughs> in store for me when I'm out and about so let's see what surprises attack me today right so after that climb I've reached the the top of this little point here and uh, the scenery is actually quite breathtaking but the problem is that over there I believe is where the Dark Skies Observatory is now that's about half a mile away and there's a great big valley there down to the river so I can't get across that way so I'm going to have to go back down path that I just came up and try a different route and that down there is where I parked the car so I climb back down the hill <laughs> and see if we can find a way up across there I thought, talking about walking that half mile over there, which if I take the, the route around the road, I know it's serpentines up there. It's about a mile walk and it's all uphill. I've got a drone here that can fly straight across there <laughs> and I can go over there less than a minute. So instead of me getting over there, let's send the drone because I'm pretty sure that that's where the observatory is. So I'll do that today. This is a wee add addition here. I'm using the DJI OM4 mounted on my tripod there. Tripod, and as you can see, I don't have anyone else with me, but it's following me and tracking me around. It should be tracking me quite well. So I'll put a link to the DJI OM4 in the description of this video, and I found it to be very useful in situations like this where. I tend to move about, juke about quite a bit when I'm doing stuff and that will follow you around and record you. So I'll get the drone up, send Lassie over there and see if that is where the observatory is. So let's get Lassie out.
So just time for a, a nice wee cup of coffee. And a sandwich. <laughs> just before I, I, I do a bit of filming of this, this beautiful loch. And I wish I could have every, every single one of you here with me for this wee piece of lunch, but uh, you'll just have to enjoy it from your screen. So, bon appetit to me. <laughs> so that's lunch all done, packed away, and we're going to send Lassie up now. To do a wee flight over lockdown. As the swan 